welcome to this, and this will be my reviews. Reviews. <clears throat> I usually won't do two, um, but I am going to do Superstars and SmackDown. Superstars wasn't that long, so it won't take that long anyways. And SmackDown, as most of you noticed, I'm going to try to do some TV reviews now. Um, I did, you know, no impact, don't even ask, don't even go there, you want to see an impact review that's good, go watch Fool Killers, don't come on here, not gonna happen. And, um, other than that, you know, I would have done an ROH review, but I have no way of watching ROH unless it's uploaded and hasn't been uploaded anymore, so, there is that. Um, so, let's get started with Superstars, or as I like to call it, the William Regal Gold Dust Show, because... Um, if you haven't been watching Superstars, William Regal is usually on it, as is usually Goldust, and uh, they usually do pretty good. Um, uh, Goldust, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what's gotten into him, but he's definitely not like he was in TNA. He seems motivated and, and good again, um, which is saying something. If you realize how long he's wrestled, it, it's pretty amazing that he can still kind of, you know, he still goes about the same way. And that he seems to be reverting back to kind of still a little more light-hearted gold dust, but more of the type of gold dust I enjoy instead of just the joke character that he kind of became. So, but anyways, um, let's get on with the show. Um, there was a lot of hype, of course, on the show, but we had R Truth versus William Regal. I was looking really forward to this match. Um, Regal or R Truth were both. I think Regal seemed off for some reason. I don't know if it was just with because. It doesn't work well with our truth or what it was. They didn't get a lot of time, but I expected this match to be at least a little better. Um, I got excited when I saw that it was going to be these two guys, and it just wasn't all that great. It was just kind of there. Um, then uh, we got some NXT highlights. Then we got, um, of course, legendary highlights again. Then we got Goldust and Gail Kim, um, and Goldust came out with Aksana, which I like that. Um, that was one thing that I, I kind of thought they missed. Somewhat in the front. I, if we're going to try to get NXT over, that they, they have to do more of a better job of getting the rookies kind of involved and being always around their um, their pros, um, even out for matches and all that sort of thing, and not kind of the offhanded thing that we saw, I think, more so in the first season. And we've seen a progression of that. But um, uh, it was a mixed tag. It was Goldust and Gil Kim taking on Primo and Julian with AJ. And um, this was this was this wasn't too bad. Um, they they stuck Gil Kim in there with Primo for a little bit, which was kind of nice. Um, Julian Jillian, you know, but uh, the match was good. Um, I thought I enjoyed it. It was for a TV match. It was it was enjoyable. So that's not that's all you can really ask for. We got a tag match. Um, Vance Archer and Kurt Hawkins taking on the Dude Busters. Um, hopefully, at some point, they get the Dude Busters where they can actually maybe get somewhere where people will start kind of watching them. Um, as I think they're pretty good. I, I think um, Vance Archer and Kurt Hawkins aren't too bad either, to be honest. I, these, these, the, these are the type of tag teams I wish they would do more of. Stick two guys together. Let them kind of learn. Let them kind of be young. Let them go, go out there and do, you know, some stuff like that. Um... They didn't have a lot of time, unfortunately, but uh, they did go out there. They put an okay match, and it was somewhat enjoyable, so I can't really argue there. Uh, then we got uh, Big Show and Luke Hawkins. Um, no CM Punk, but we did get Mercury out there. This was a squash, pure and simple, just to kind of set up Big Show versus, you know, SES. So that was that. Um, overall, not a bad hour of uh, wrestling. Not a great hour of wrestling, but not a bad hour of wrestling either. So there you go there. Then we go to SmackDown. Um, or as I would like to call this show, the, um, especially this, well, this week, was the let's do a million promos for Undertaker and Kane. Because that's what we got. We got like a billion. I, it was like ad nauseum. I was, at some point I was like, oh my god, can we please just stop with the Undertaker and Kane stuff? Please. Uh, Undertaker started the show, um, he came out, then CM Punk came out, they had an altercation, gonna wrestle later tonight. Didn't have a problem with this at all, thought they did pretty good. Punk actually, you know, looked like he belonged there arguing with the Undertaker and like that. Led to a pretty good match later to, later in the night. Then we got, uh, Jack Swagger taking on MVP. Um, this was okay, not great. Um, was a good was a was a good TV match. Um, they gave them you know, about ten minutes, and uh, they went out there, did what they kind of could, uh, told somewhat of a good story. This was set up uh, the week before, um, and it was what it was. So, eh. 
Um, then we had um, Alberto De Rio taking on Matt Fat Hardy. Um, and you know Matt Hardy has seen better days. This was this was a okay. This was an okay match. Um, pretty good TV match. Um, Del Rio looked good again. He looks good. I love his finisher. His finisher is so easy and yet, or looks is, it looks like it would be simple to maybe do without actually hurting somebody, but looks devastating at the t same time. Um, it's a nice impact kind of submission move. I like it. Um, they're getting it over, so that was good. Then we got Drew McIntyre versus Caval. This was another good match, I would say, and it all had to do with Caval. I'm not big on Drew McIntyre. McIntyre. I'm making... And, uh... I'm say McIntyre, but I'm making... Whatever. Um... And, uh, not, 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 not big on it. Not, not big on him at all. Not, not big on the whole match. Um, this match was good because of Caval, but Drew went over, so... There we go there. Um, I will say this, before the uh, before um, they had LeCool out there and and, and they had uh, Caval kind of standing behind them as they bickered back and forth. And if it becomes kind of a gimmick where he's kind of the street ma street, straight man between the two of them, kind of, you know, them being silly and him being, you know, himself, I think it'll work because it, it the th while they both suck in the ring, they are entertaining as far as characters together, but they both suck in the ring, and that's the problem. So, um, but it was okay, so there we go. Um, got a Cody Rhodes thing, big on that. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Chavo Guerrero taking on Kofi Kingston and Chris Masters in a uh, tag match. This was there, that was about it. I mean, you had Chris Masters in there, so what are you going to do? Um, though he's looked better, but still. Um, not as good as I would have thought it would. You had three guys in there that I would think would actually be able to go out there and put on a fairly decent match, and, and it was kind of a weird match, but, um, it was okay. Um, and then we had the main event, uh, which was CM Punk versus The Undertaker. Um, really good, uh, TV match. A good, a really good, solid match, um, given that, you know, they gave it about, seemed like maybe 15, 20 minutes, and, uh, let him tell a pretty good story. Undertaker went over, but Undertaker needed to go over because he's the one in the main event at the pay-per-view, so he needed to go over. Um, Punk's a good guy to kind of throw him out at, um, you know, and, you know, Punk's taking on Big Show anyway, so, you know, it, it, it all kind of worked out my way. Did, did I like seeing Punk lose? No, but he did give him the go to sleep. Um, you know, Undertaker seemed to get the win out of nowhere. Um, even though, you know, it's Undertaker, so it doesn't seem like a fluke win. But it was a good match, and I really, I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was a good little match. So, not a, not, you know, it was a, uh, a good two-hour show, I would say. It, overall, it was enjoyable. There was a lot more good on here than, than bad, as usually is the case with SmackDown. Not as good as SmackDown can be, but it was okay. Okay, so, um, I, I would say good, not great, um but definitely worth watching as far as a TV show, two hours of wrestling goes. So I think there's enough good on there to, to say that. So with that, I'm out. Um, I will see you all tomorrow, of course, because we got ROH, folks. $15. Go, go, go fight live.com. Go, go see it. Go watch it. Go have fun. Go, go do the whole thing because this is going to be a good show. Great show. Great show. No doubt in my mind this is going to be a great show. So with that, I'm out. Have a good one later.